And speaking of that rain, rain or shine, that won't stop the Valley from having a good time for St. Patrick's Day and many businesses getting the party started as early as 6 a.m. If you still haven't made your plans just yet, you're still in luck because First News reporter Hannah Erdman is joining us live in downtown Youngstown this morning, highlighting some of the activities that could get you in the spirit. Hannah. Yeah, good morning. Green beer, live music. What more could you ask for? It's going to be a great day here in the Valley. Lots of parties going on. So no matter where you live in our four counties, you're going to probably find something fun to do. Now, later on here in downtown Youngstown, they're yet again hosting their Shamrock the Block event. They hosted it last year. Take a look. This is just a taste of what you can expect later on today. Up and down Federal Street, you'll see lots of bars serving great drinks and food. And you also expect, again, some of that live live music and performances. But if you are going to be heading out to the area, there are some reminders you'll want to remember. And that's mainly to the parking and where you can park if you're going to be heading out this way. Paid parking will be available at the parking garage on West Boardman near Eastern Gateway. Free parking will be available in the Children's Services lot on Commerce Street and also across the river at the BNO. IDs will be required to attend the event and you must be 21 or over to, to attend. Now, though there is a little rain that's not going to be stopping the party, you can see behind me all the tents already set up to make sure that though there is a little rain in the forecast, that you'll be able to still party and stay dry all throughout the day. Reporting live in downtown Youngstown, Hannah Erdman, First News This Morning.